voices of bravery, honoring the veterans of Vietnam. Sponsored by Duval Motor Company. We're dedicated to paying respect to the Vietnam veterans some 50 years out from the war now. But tonight, we're gonna go honor our Vietnam veterans in prison. So you might go, whoa, hold on a minute. I thought we were talking about respect and honor. Yes, we are, but let me take you inside Union County Correctional Institute. You might think they blame Vietnam. We never came home to thank you or nothing. All they did was spit at us. And coming home with their wounded buddies? They threw dog crap on them. You kill people! Bitter, yeah, but the blame? I blame myself for being in prison. Most of these Vietnam veterans locked up for life for murder and, and terrible crimes. If I can't give enough, I can't give enough. I screwed up, yeah, I screwed up. The seventh annual walkathon is coming up. This is VVA Chapter 1080, Vietnam Veterans of America. They won the best incarcerated chapter in the entire country in 2017. But raise money from behind bars? And your legs the next day? Sore. <laughs> chapter President Ed Shook explains the inmates walk the prison yard for donations. We went out here and walked miles and miles in circles. The reason I'm here is... So I came to Union Correctional to thank them for helping. For example, veteran Chris Langston, United States Marine. You may remember when his home burned down. These are my dress blues. These were actually my father's dress blues. These guys saw the story on First Coast News. At the next meeting, we voted to donate $1,000 to awesome. help Chris. Larry Woodard says they also saw our buddy bus campaign to buy this mobile mammography unit. Well, we've, told, we've been watching you on TV with it, trying to raise a million dollars. and Hey, everybody in the club and the membership, they all agreed, yeah, we want to help Jeannie. They've given money to local schools as well. According to VVA officials, in the last seven years, these incarcerated veterans have raised $34,000 and donated it back to the community. We've done something to take away from society, and this is our way, as a veteran, to give back. I hope you'll join us for our special Voices of Bravery honoring veterans of Vietnam. It's April 13th on First Coast News.